Happy new comic book day, webheads! Not only do I have one week, but I have two great weeks worth of comics right here in the mysterious black bag. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans. I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring to you Spider Slayer's comic book haul. This is episode 430, and this is the video series where I share with you what I picked up at the comic book store, which is Comic Central. So if you guys are ever in the Central Florida area, go ahead and check out Comic Central. They're a great place. And if you ever want to show that extra support towards the channel, just go ahead and hit that join button right there on my home page. Again, it shows the channel that extra support. So guys, let's get started with this week's haul. Like I said, I got some books that I did not receive from last week. So we got like an extra size haul this week. So here we go. Mysterious black bag inside is the comic books. Let's see what we get. Now, if you guys want to share your haul with other members, go ahead, check out my Facebook group page called Comic Book Corner 2.0. Webheads Unite. You guys can just click on that link in the descriptions box below and you're automatically members and you can share all the stuff that you picked up. It's a great group. All right, so here is the stack and uh, yes, lots of comic books. So we're just going to go one by one, whether it's mixed up from last week or not. Let's see what happens. All right, so first things first, we got that free comic book day X Men book. Uh, pretty cool cover here as you get to see Eliana on there, Storm, Wolverine, Rogue, and and uh, yeah, this is supposedly maybe a lead up to the Ten of Swords or whatever that story is, you know. Uh, pretty interesting artwork as you get to see right here front, right when I opened it up. It's got some weird looking cards. Uh, I don't know what's going on. And with all this, again, here's some of that interior artwork, some more. So, yeah, again, this is probably leading into the major event. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens of it. So, again, it's free. Can't complain. That's right. X-Men, free comic book day. All right, next. Oh, I got this in my stack as well. This is a Batman 3 Jokers poster. So, I got that. That's pretty cool. And you know where this is going to go? This is going to take place right here of where that calendar goes. And I think that would be a great spot to show a little bit of DC love. They don't give away too much promotional stuff. So that's pretty cool. All right, next, here it is everyone. The one you've been waiting for, Empire issue one. That's right, so we have Empire here. It's finally arrived and uh, this is what's happening. This is the interior artwork right there. I uh, have not been excited about this event the entire time, but it's finally arrived. And I think now we get an issue every single week. So let's see what happens with it. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe this could be the underdog event of the century. <laughs> so there it is, Empire. We have issue one. All right, next. We have Captain Marvel, issue 17. I think this kicks off a new story arc as well. Um, and this just says, who's in the Nexus? And this was in one of my covers of the week. I love this cover with these two on there. Let's check out some of the interior art in here. So it looks pretty good, right? You got Miss Marvel in there as well. And I thought, like, doesn't she, like, tied in with the whole outlawed thing? So I don't know what's happening. But overall, when it, you know, when it came to the whole star storyline and all that type of stuff, I like Captain Marvel. So we'll see where this series goes. And this is issue 17. This will also tie into Empire. And since like I read this title, I'm probably going to read that Empire tie-in. All right, next is The Amazing Spider-Man issue 44. Uh, here we have... Spider-Man, who's all wrapped up in Kindred's, like, millipede technical things. I don't even know what's going on in here. Uh, it looks like we got Mr. Negative's bad boys in here as well. Uh, so, yeah, this could be pretty neat. Oh, well, what's... What is this? What is that thing going on in there? So, again, I'm just looking for something a little bit more when it comes to the Amazing Spider-Man title. I think it's time for it to take it to the next level here when it comes to the title. But this is Amazing Spider-Man issue 44. All right, next. 
We have Teen Titans issue 43. Uh, the team is currently on this a mission to try to stop Brother Blood. I'm sorry, to try to resolve uh, the murder of brother blood as he was actually killed and so our teams were assembled once again to figure out what's going on okay so here's some interior artwork great story i don't know what's going to happen with the future of the teen titans i think we have a new writer on the book now um but nevertheless it's always been a solid book and i love this team but this one seems to be focused a little bit more on damien here all right, next, we go into the Joker War tie-in book or Journey to Joker War. We still have that here. This is Nightwing. This is issue 72. It looks like Dick Grayson is doing battle now against Punchline. So does she make her appearance in this book? Well, we'll, we'll soon find out, right? Um, but I'm on this title again just for the Joker War purposes. Here's some of our interior artwork. Last we left off, Joker was trying to manipulate Dick Grayson with that Court of Owl jewel. And so, I don't know. We'll see what goes on here. Haven't been a fan of the series in a while because of the whole, you know, type of uh, brain activity where he forgets everything and he doesn't remember who he is. But we'll see. Nightwing issue 72. All right, next. Are you ready for some metal? Let's rock and roll. This is death metal. This is issue two. Got to get the chrome cover in there, right? So pretty cool as you can see Batman's like bat monster truck. That's pretty cool. And Wonder Woman, the end of that last issue was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens. Here's just <clears throat> some artwork. I'm trying to do something where it's not going to spoil anything. Here's some artwork in here. Uh, by Greg Capullo, so that's really cool. We got the flash in there. I'm not going to show any more because I don't want to spoil, but I like the last issue of Death Metal. Let's see if the, mom the momentum keeps going with it. All right, next we have the variant cover for Death Metal. This is the Art Germ one, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, we have the Harley Quinn version there. Uh, yeah, I thought that one was cool. I, I always got to get a variant of it, so uh, just so I have a reading copy and then one cool copy, right? <laughs> so that's Dark Knight's Death Metal, the variants, the Art Germ version. All right, this book came out last week. This is Marvel's X-Force. This is issue 10. Um, Curious to see what happens in this book. I haven't read the title in a very long time. I think it was before the virus that actually happened. Uh, so, yeah, this looks pretty cool. Here's some of the interior artwork in here in case you haven't seen it yet or haven't bought this copy yet. So, yes, I'm happy that all shipping issues finally got resolved this week. So that's X-Force issue 10. All right, next is... Strange Academy, this is issue two. So happy to see this book back. Same thing, this was released last week and I didn't get it because of the shipping issues. Curious to see what the interior artwork is. There you go, you got some Herberto Ramos type of art. Here's some more. Coloring looks a little bit different, but I am so excited for this book. This book looks like it's gonna be a blast. So that's Strange Academy, this is issue two. All right, next we have Stealth, issue three, another book that came out last week. This continues, um, uh, this is three of six. And I would love to see if this book is selling well to see if maybe we get a possible second volume out of it, right? So that's Stealth, that's issue three. So that was last week. Another book that came out last week was Adventure Man, issue two. Love the first issue of this. This is written by Matt Fraction, and uh, Totson is the artist. I think his artwork was really good. This was a great fantasy-like book uh, where you think that, oh, wow, this, this story is, you know, kicking off right away with lots of action, but we found out that the main lead, the lead of this book, uh, she was just reading a fantasy to her son, and it, it was like it, the real story didn't start till the middle of the issue which i thought was awesome and there she is she's driving this moped <laughs> so good book though man definitely got off to a great start this is adventure man this is issue two all right next we have something is killing the children this is issue eight now i have issue number seven right here that i haven't read yet because i'm still waiting to try to get issue six um 
and I read issues one through five, but this is a great book. Um, love the stories here. Um, here's some, some of the interior artwork in there as well. So looking forward to this story. I think this is a great book that Tinian is writing. So something killing the children, issue eight. All right, next. I think this came out last week as well. This is Fantastic Four. This is the Empire book for that. So this kind of leads into the whole Empire situation. So we got that going on as well. So there's a lot of stuff that I missed from last week. So we have that there. Okay. And then let's see what else did we get. AWA Upshot. We have the Archangel, Archangel 8. So we have that one, and here's some of the interior artwork here. This book is pretty dark, man. This reminds me of a Punisher book. We still don't know all the ins and outs of what's happening in this series, but it's great artwork, great, great, pretty much pretty good story here as well. And then here is one of my favorite books from them. This is Year Zero. This is issue three of six, where we get to see a point of view happen, uh, five different points of view of a zombie apocalypse outbreak that's happening. And you get to see how they all deal with the situation. Check out the interior artwork on this one. So that is so cool too. So we have it right here. So yeah, I love the guy who's been preparing for this for his entire life. I think he is the best character here. He's trying to reach out to other people. Um, he's like saved like cans of beans for years and just it's just insane. It's so funny. All right, next we wind up getting Venom Beyond or Venom issue 26 as we get the introduction to Virus. Who is he? Um, someone in my comments video actually, I think, spoiled it for me, uh, telling me who it was when I made a video uh, of this, and they, they wrote it a couple minutes ago, and uh, I was like, really? <laughs> so here's the interior artwork of this one here. So we got Eddie Brock and Dylan, and then here we get to see the virus. And this was the preview that we saw in the, uh, in the previews uh, book or whatnot. So we expected to see that. I'm not going to show any more because I don't want to spoil it, but I'm really excited on what's going on with Venom and this whole storyline here and why this guy was created to either capture Dylan or capture Eddie Brock or whatnot. So cool stuff. All right, next, we wind up getting Savage Dragon, issue 250. Let me just tell you, I can't believe I've been reading all of these books for all these years, and I still read Savage Dragon. This is a 100-page, spectacular, $10. Um, here's some of the artwork inside of here. Eric Larson, he did Spider-Man for years, and I just love his artwork in it and I always said I would follow him and when Savage Dragon came out I was like oh this book is pretty cool and it is it's just like it's been real life time for the for years and it's like you kind of just want to see what Dragon is doing with uh with him and his family his kids and all kinds of stuff there so interesting book you know it's it, it has its ups and downs but overall I've stuck with it through all these years all right next Another AWA book. This is issue three of four, uh, Red Border. This is my favorite book from them. Such a great story about these kids who tried to cross the border, getting away from, from these, these mafia guys just because they were in the wrong place, wrong time. They wind up getting picked up by some some hillbilly guys that say, come with me. You know, you can hang out with us, lay low until things pass. They brought them to their house and there's these secrets that are going on in this house and now they have to escape it's so awesome uh i love the story here how things are just not meant to be uh really really good stuff that's red border issue three or four i got people mowing the lawn so sorry about that all right next red mother book six one of my favorite independent comics of the year 
definitely, if you can get your hands on that first trade, read this book. It's a kind of a slow burn, but it's such a page turner and every page is so interesting and intriguing. You want to know about this woman's story on what has happened to her and what is going to happen to her in the future. Is she suffering from PTSD? Is she suffering from supernatural things following her? It's such a mystery, but it's so good. So this is The Red Mother, book six. All right. Next, we have Spider-Woman issue two. Finally, since March, we finally get the second issue of this. I'm excited about it. I love the interior artwork of this book. Here, she's going against Rhino. She is wearing this new outfit that was created for her, but I think it's making her sick or draining her powers. So yeah, that's really awesome as well. So great stuff here. I can't wait to see what happens with this series uh, going forward and what's the main objective here for Jessica Drew. Always a lot of fun to watch and read this character. So this is issue two. <clears throat> Next, Family Tree, issue seven, right? Definitely has taken a different turn. It's still a really great book. We get to see the tree apocalypse go into this different direction. And we learn about the younger character Meg's older brother and how he's going to survive, I guess, in this apocalypse uh, going forward. And we're learning some history stuff here, too. Uh, so this is an interesting book. Nice artwork. It's written by Jeff Lemire. Um, something totally different. And I'm really enjoying this book. So again, this is issue seven. And last but not least, Webheads, we have issue 35 of Immortal Hulk. As you get to see Hulk here um, being surrounded by little kids and they're holding up the Hulk action figures. Such a lot of fun here. A great cover. And this book is getting ready to ramp up things with the leader that's involved. It looks like we're getting to see the different versions of the Hulk as you're being reintroduced to him and all his different personalities. I think this is going to eventually lead into the conclusion of Al Ewing's run. I'm so looking forward to this and the interactions with leaders. You have no, no idea. It's, it's, I think it's going to be a wild ride here. So here we have some more interior artwork. So guys, there you have it. There is the haul for the week. It was a big one. Like I said, it was like two weeks combined. Now I got to get reading with all this stuff. But like I said, join that Facebook group if you want to share your haul. Comic Book Corner 2.0, Webheads Unite. And I'll leave you more content right here to check out. And until next time, guys, enjoy those books this week, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.